Good evening and welcome to Pouring Through Life. So I've been working trying to create this painting after a, a gal's painting that I saw on Facebook. Um, can't think of her name. I'll post it in the description if this turns out. Um, she did this really cool pour and it was reds and golds and some other colors. But I don't know the exact colors she used so I'm kind of making it up as I go. All right. Uh, the colors are, I'm going to go over the colors really quickly. I have these Chroma Molten Metals set that I've had for a long time. I actually forgot that I had them. So I've got the Rojo Gold, which is basically a red gold. Um, I have that with mixed with a little bit of the Sachet Red in it. And then I have Copper with a little bit of the 24 Karat Gold Copper in it. Or 20... Extreme Sheen Copper in it. And there's Xandu Gold. And Dorado Gold. And in there, I put a couple drops of yellow to make it more of a yellow gold. And then I have Green Flash, or Aqua Flash from Folk Art. And I have Arteza Fancy Black and the Deco Art Pearls Lamp Black. Um, all of these paints are mixed with my traditional pouring medium, which if you'd like to learn how I make it, check out video seven. Um, I do a pretty in-depth run through of how I make my pouring medium. Um, it's one that I've worked hard at creating and it mixing, oh, the other gold. Sorry, there's one other gold. Artist Loft Gold, this one is the one with the yellow in it. So the Xandu Gold is how it's made, no yellow. I don't know why, I don't know. And I will put all those paint colors in the description of the video. So, I'm gonna just start off layering up this. Uh, this is a 12 ounce mixing cup, or yeah, measuring cup. So that's the lightest gold. I'm gonna go with the next yellow gold. And copper. And red. And we're going to go with that fancy black concoction. These paints are uh, very thick. And that's done on purpose so the colors don't over mix. Purple flash. A little bit black to keep the yellow from making more green. And that to the yellow. Okay, so let me move these leftovers to the side. There's a little bit of every color left. I'm tempted to thin them down and dump them in the middle, to be honest. It's pointless to save this small amount of black. Look how little that is. I mean, it's not even a teaspoon or tablespoon of paint left. <clears throat> okay. So 
So I'm doing this on a 14 by 14 canvas and I have this set on my cake spinner, but the opening is just slightly bigger than the cake turner. So it's really not quite level. It's incredibly frustrating. After I pour this out, I'm going to um, do a ring pour. Look at this. Honey, can you get the little girls their night night meds? Please. I told her it was there. It's mine! Oh, okay. I'm going to put you while I clean this up, bro. Okay, you ready? Let's see how this is going to. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start pouring and um, once I get enough paint out of this, I can start doing a circular pattern for the channel. Adam? Watch out! The water is rising! Keep going! Don't touch it! Uh, the water is I'm gonna take one. Yeah. Almost a perfect tree ring pour, except for the drips that have just happened. So. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Right back in. Okay, so let's, I'm going to start this. Oh, look at the patterns inside there. How cool. Oh, okay, so I'm going to start this back out again. And let's see if we can get, if we can get a tree ring pour without people yelling in the background would be great. But we'll see if that pans out. And I'm going to rotate. Now that I'm kind of getting to the bottom of the jar and I want the center to be where the majority of the focus is going to be if I can stop having issues. Never fails. Okay, so first things first, there's a lot of air bubbles, so let's go ahead and torch. Um, I lost my pattern in the center that I was trying for, so I'm going to try to save the pour and we're going to wreck it. I'm just going to come straight through here. I think that'll do. Okay. So, um, it doesn't quite sit on here easily as far as 
level. So let me grab an extra pad um, and I'm gonna start spinning this. I think the colors would have probably been perfect, but my center went wrong. So you gotta think, once it spreads out, this will probably be the extent of the pour, is the center section, which I love. The colors, the colors are great. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, so spin. Look how much purple's coming in this. I'm kind of shocked how much purple. It's kind of cool. I just have plenty of paint left over, so I didn't want to have to do another one in this color, but it's all right. It's the season. It's fall colors. It's kind of perfect for fall colors. <sighs> I'm not going to worry about it being slightly unlevel. It's not going to dry in this. how blue that aqua turned next to that black it made it more blue and then purple it's kind of cool <clears throat> I forget who what artist it was who always wrecked her ring pours and every time I saw her wreck a ring pour I was just like cringing because it was such a beautiful pattern and I'm just like, no, don't do it. And now I wreck pores. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I understand it now. Tree rings are fun, but if you do them a lot, then. I'm sorry. Well, don't peel it off, honey. I'll get you some chapstick when I'm done doing this, okay? Well, I don't want it to burn. I'm sorry. Don't peel your skin off your lip. I don't want it to bleed. Well, don't peel the skin off your lip. But anyway, so the met the before I wrecked it, the center was horribly terrible looking. Those couple of little pass-throughs connected some of the part that was yucky and made it really cool. So I'm digging this. This is neat. I, I like this a lot. You never would have thought these colors would have been as beautiful together as they are. And that purple came from nowhere. Just need that last couple corners to go over, but it's being difficult for some reason. I think it would have been a little bit easier to go over the corners considering how much paint I put down on the canvas. And what I love is that the pattern runs all the way over the side. So if I can keep from messing up the edges, moving it around, then these edges will be fire. Fire. Yeah. I'm just going to move the weight over that way a little bit. 
Adam, you should come check this out. I'm just trying to get the weight to roll over that edge a little bit. So when I spin, I can get that edge to come off. So I still have quite a bit more paint that needs to come off. I love this. I love, love, love this. I mean, seriously, this is really cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I need to pull it down this way. I want to roll some of that blue, we'll call them flower petals, off the edge there. Yeah, there's a lot of paint still on here. Oh, wow, I love this. This might be my new fave. Really cool. Really, really, a really cool painting. Digging, digging, digging it. I'm so glad I wrecked it. Oh, so cool. So now, as these bubbles pop, it's going to pick up the colors from underneath, which were every color of the pour. So there won't be a bunch of like white polka dots or weird colors popping up. I didn't really want there to be any bubbles, to be honest. I let this paint sit around for a while, but. I still got to spin it just a little bit more because there's still too much paint on this. Let's see if I can get it to not go the wrong way. It's really cool. What is all the paint doing? Because it's to catch on this instead of everything else that's under this. Okay, let's go ahead and go the other direction. Now this will dry dark, but when I resin this, all the colors will come out just like you're seeing them. There won't be any weird darkness. I'm not even mad at how dark the browns and stuff are. It's really pretty. I love that the pattern is rolling over the edge so perfectly. Ah, oh, love it. kind of wiping drips off right now. Wait, babe. When? I'm done when I'm done, Ava. Sorry, I 
just have to re just this painting a smidge. But I think I'm done. I think I got enough paint off now. I am super happy. And there's peacock cells where as I'm stretching some of this out, the that aqua flash is popping through. And, oh, it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. I'm super excited about this one. Fall colors. A little bit of Halloween feel to it because purple and black. Ugh. Really very pretty. I'm super happy. It's definitely the best one of the week by a mile. I've had kind of a weird week for pores. Super happy with this. All right, let me wash my hands and I'll take you in for a close up. The detail in this is magnificent. Check that cool little section out. Oh, I'm going to just zoom in. See how the blue aqua flash is popping through there? I mean, just the way these colors commingled and created new colors is amazing. A lot of times when you're dealing with those type of colors, you don't get this cool of an end result. Sometimes it makes, well, I made an ugly one earlier this week that were these colors that I don't know if I'll show anybody. I let it dry just because it was so ugly. You see that red, the sachet red with that red gold? Oh, that's cool. This might be one of my favorites. Definitely my favorite wrecked pour by a mile. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, as I post new videos, you'll get notified when I put them up. All right, you guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and all that fun stuff. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video, and I'd love to hear what you think. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.